Ahead in 7 News, Nelson Mandela's 90th birthday. A new vaccine to save the lives of koalas. And celebrating 20 years of the IVF program. Transmitted disease, chlamydia. Once thought to be confined to humans, chlamydia has become a major threat to an Australian icon. And they do end up suffering, you know, quite a terrible death from chlamydia. The sexually transmitted disease turns koalas blind and eventually infertile, killing off large populations and infection rates continue to increase. The Australia Zoo, for example, they see about four or 500 koalas a year that come into their care and probably a third to maybe half of those would have chlamydial disease. There's no cure, but QUT scientists are hoping to find one through studying this uninfected group in the Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. We're close to having a vaccine which we can trial in infected koalas and that's the plan for the next stage of the project. They're hoping a cure will be less than three years away. The research being conducted on these koalas could eventually help scientists develop a vaccine to treat chlamydia in humans. We're looking at the safety of the vaccine and also the type of immune responses. And so far, the signs are all positive. Talitha Cummins, 7 News.